Welcome to the Inspire Studio Podcast, where ideas grow and visions flow. Art, music, and AI dreams, creativity in everything. All right, ready to dive deep. Today, we're tackling a big one, the essence of an artist. We're unpacking this insightful essay you sent over, and I'm really curious to hear your thoughts on this one. I'm ready to dig in. Analyzing creative processes is a passion of mine, and this essay hits on some really key ideas about what truly makes art, well, art. And it starts off strong right out the gate. The essay says, being an artist is about transforming the intangible thoughts, emotions, all those things we experience internally into something tangible that others can experience too. I find that fascinating because that transformation is how we share those internal experiences and connect with each other on a deeper level through art. Think about a time you were deeply moved by a piece of art, a song, a painting, a film, anything that likely resonated with you because it gave a tangible form to emotions you'd felt but maybe couldn't quite articulate. Oh, absolutely. That totally resonates with me. Okay, so it's about expressing those intangible things. But the essay quickly points out that art goes beyond just technical skill. You know, just because you can paint a perfectly straight line doesn't mean you're an artist. Right. It's not just about mastering the tools. A technically perfect painting of a bowl of fruit, while impressive, might not be considered art if it lacks the artist's unique vision or message. Think about a sculptor, for instance. They might envision this intricate, powerful form in their mind that's the creativity part. But it's their mastery of tools like chisels and their understanding of the stone itself that allows them to bring that vision to life. Okay, that makes a lot of sense. Yeah. It's like the difference between someone who can play all the right notes on an instrument versus someone who can make the instrument really sing, you know? Yeah. Both require skill, but one clearly has that extra something. Exactly, and that's where the artist's unique expression comes in. It's about taking those skills and using them to communicate something deeper, something that speaks to the human experience. So it's not just about technical skill. It's about having a vision and knowing how to execute it in a way that truly resonates. Now, that makes me think about another point the essay makes about artists and their seemingly endless wellspring of creativity. Are they just constantly bursting with new ideas? That's a common misconception. While coming up with new ideas is definitely important, the essay does a great job of highlighting the balance between that initial spark of creativity and the dedication required to actually bring those ideas to life. It's like that saying, maybe a big cliche, but so true. Genius is 1% inspiration and 99% perspiration. Having that spark of creativity is one thing, but then the real work begins right. Absolutely. It reminds me of those Renaissance artists we both find so captivating. They weren't just painting pretty pictures. They were fueled by this incredible surge in humanist thought, rediscovering classical ideas, and you can see that in their work. Oh, I see what you mean. It's like th their art became a tangible reflection of the intellectual and cultural shifts happening all around them. It wasn't just about the technical mastery of painting. It was about conveying those bigger ideas. Exactly. Think about Michelangelo's David. It's not just a statue. It's a symbol of human potential, of individual strength, all wrapped up in this incredibly powerful form. Or consider how 19th century music, with its soaring romantic compositions, so perfectly captured the revolutions and changes happening all around them. That's a great point. It's like art acts as this amazing time capsule, preserving not just the styles and techniques of a particular era, but also its ideas and emotions. But the essay also talks about artists as storytellers, which feels like a whole other layer to this. Why do you think storytelling is such a powerful element in art across cultures and throughout history? It's primal, wouldn't you say? From the earliest cave paintings to modern day cinema, humans have always used stories to make sense of the world, to share experiences and connect with each other. When we encounter art that tells a story, it taps into that deep seated human need. And I imagine it's even more powerful when the artist uses that story to express their own unique perspective on the world, right? Precisely. It's not just about telling any old story. It's about the artist taking that story and infusing it with their own insights, experiences, and emotions, allowing us to see the world through their eyes, even if just for a moment. That's what I find so captivating about art. It's power to make you think, to challenge your assumptions, to see the world differently. Like the work of a filmmaker like Ava DuVernay, for instance. Her films aren't just captivating stories. They're powerful commentaries on social justice and the human experience. You hit the nail on the head. Art can challenge the status quo, shine a light on injustice, and even inspire action. But it can also offer hope, inspiration, and a sense of connection, wouldn't you say? Absolutely. Yeah. But it feels like 
With all the advancements in technology and the rise of AI-generated art, the very definition of artist might be changing right before our eyes. Is that what this essay explores? Yeah. You're like, are we going to have robot Picassos running around anytime soon? Is that what the essay suggests? Well, that's the big question, isn't it? It does dive into that whole tension between traditional art forms and these digital tools that are, well, kind of transforming the creative landscape. Yeah. But I wouldn't, uh, I wouldn't start prepping for the robot art takeover just yet. The essay makes a pretty key distinction. Technology, it's a tool, not a replacement for the artist. So you're saying it's not about the, like, the tools themselves, it's about how the artist uses them to express their vision. Exactly. Think about it. A painter uses a brush, right? A sculptor uses a chisel. And a digital artist, they use software. They're all just tools in service of the artist's, you know, their creative vision. Mm. It does, however, bring up some, well, some pretty intriguing questions. Like what? Like if an AI creates this, I don't know, stunning piece of music, right? But there's no human emotion behind it, no intention. Can we really call it art then? What do you think? That's a good question. And honestly, I'm not sure I have the answer. But maybe that's part of what makes this whole discussion so fascinating. It pushes us to really examine our own assumptions about like what art is, who gets right. to be considered an artist, what role it plays in a world that's, well, constantly evolving. I couldn't agree more. And this leads to another really compelling point the essay makes about the artist's intention. It's not just about creating something beautiful or thought-provoking just for the sake of it, you know? You're saying there's a deeper layer there, like the artist is trying to convey a specific meaning or a message through their work. Exactly. The essay highlights this role of artists as kind of like cultural commentators, even agents of change, wouldn't yeah. you say? Think about artists like like Banksy. His street art sparks this whole dialogue about important social issues. Or musicians like Nina Simone. Her soulful voice, it became so intertwined with the civil rights movement. It's true. When you really start thinking about it, so many artists throughout history have used their work to like shine a light on injustice or to fight for what they believe in, to inspire others. It's like their art becomes a form of activism. Precisely. And in a world that often feels, you know, increasingly complex and uncertain, that role, the artist, as a catalyst for change, it feels more vital than ever. But this brings us back to that central question we've been kind of, you know, circling this whole time. What is the essence of an artist? Yeah. It feels like we've been circling this big, almost existential question, uncovering these different layers, these perspectives, but not really arriving at a like single, simple answer. And that's what I appreciate about this essay. You know, it, yeah. it doesn't give us this neat little definition. It leaves us with this this richly woven tapestry of ideas mm. about creativity, mastery, storytelling, cultural impact, even technological innovation. Being an artist isn't about fitting into some kind of box. It's about embracing all of these different facets, this constant evolution. So it's about pushing boundaries, challenging conventions, while staying true to that core desire to express, to connect, to leave your mark on the world. Exactly. And here's the thing. That's something we all have the potential for. Even if we don't consider ourselves artists in you know, the traditional sense, we all possess that capacity for creative expression, for finding innovative solutions, for sharing our own unique stories. This essay, it isn't just for painters and poets. It's a reminder that that artistic impulse, it lives within all of us. That's a really powerful thought to end on. So after this deep dive into the essence of an artist, how has your own definition of artistry expanded? And where might you see these concepts, maybe unexpectedly, in your own life and work? Maybe you'll find yourself inspired to tap into your own creativity today. Thanks for joining us on this deep dive. Until next time.